Outer space is big, really, really, really big. And that's why NASA has no plans at the present to send a spacecraft to any of the 2,876 known planets beyond our solar system. Alpha Centauri is the nearest star system to our Sun at 4.3 light years away. Can't we even go that far? Well, the answer is not easily. A distance of 4.3 light years equals trillions of miles away from the Earth nearly 300,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. How might we travel to Alpha Centauri, the next nearest star? And how long would it take to get there, and would a conventional rocket even work? Well, consider the Space Shuttle, which traveled only a few hundred kilometers into space. If Earth were the size of a sand grain, this would be about the width of a hair, in contrast to a 10-kilometer distance to Alpha Centauri you'd need about 10,000 shuttle main engines in sequence just to build up a decent speed, say one hundredth of light speed. The space shuttles were not starships. At a maximum speed of about 28,300 km per hour, it would have taken a space shuttle about 165,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. Well, how about the Voyager spacecraft? Those two unmanned space probes, Voyagers 1 and 2, were launched in 1977 and they are now heading out of our solar system. The Voyagers aren't aimed towards Alpha Centauri, but if they were, they'd take tens of thousands of years to get there. On the other hand, eventually the Voyagers will pass other stars. In about 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will drift within 1.6 light years, 9.3 trillion miles of AC plus 79 a star in the constellation of Camilla Pardalis. In some 296,000 years, Voyager 2 will pass 4.3 light years from Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. That's 4.3 light years, that's the distance between us and Alpha Centauri. The problem with conventional rockets is that if you're carrying fuel, you need more fuel in order to carry a fuel to accomplish star-to-star -star travel. Using current technology, a trip to Alpha Centauri would take tens to hundreds of thousands of years. So let's suppose that faster than light travel isn't going to become a reality. Suppose we have to choose another method of travel, a conventionally powered space arc of some kind, or even an antimatter drive or a solar sail. Now suppose we set out for a trip among the stars. Suppose that generations from now, our descendants arrive at a planet in the Alpha Centauri system. They might be greeted by brass bands and crowds of Earthlings, who left later, but travelled via a more efficient process and so made the trip in a shorter time. All aboard! So why can't we travel faster than the speed of light? Well, according to special relativity, the mass of an object increases as its speed increases, and approaches infinity as the object's speed approaches the speed of light. That means it would take an infinite amount of energy to accelerate an object to the speed of light. And there's no fundamental reason why we can't get as close to the speed of light as we like, provided we have enough energy, but this is probably far, far off in the future. So the bottom line here is at 4.3 light years away, the Alpha Centauri system is the nearest star system to our Earth and Sun, but getting there would be extremely difficult.